According to Anna Orzo, a reporter for the Philadelphia Inquirer, she wrote in her Post Bulletin article, January 23, 2019, during the 2017-2018 school year at Temple University, there were six requests for emotional support animals. During the 2019 school year, there were 20 requests for emotional support animals. Next year, we will be college freshmen. Our college experience may include some furry companions. An emotional support animal provides for relief for those suffering from a mental health disorder. First, I will explain the role of an emotional support animal. Second, I will explain the mental health disorders concerning them. And third, I will explain the positive effects that they bring to their owners. To begin, I will explain the role of an ESA. An ESA provides comfort and re relaxation to their owners. An ESA differs from that of an assistant animal because they have not undergone the training to become certified. According to Jeffrey Yongren, a professor at UCLA and a working psychologist, he wrote in his book, Examining ESA and Role Conflict in Professional Psychology, he wrote this in 2016, that an ESA provides comfort and therefore it looks like a regular pet. However, the law gives these animals some special rights allowing them to accompany their owner in places such as a restaurant or a movie theater. As previously cited, Anna Orzo mentions that an ESA encourages people who are disabled by their psychological conditions to get out of the house and move around. Now that I have explained the role of a mental health of an ESA, I will explain the mental health disorders that concern them. In order to receive an ESA, a person must have a mental health disorder. Despite the recent advances in treating clinical depression, many people still do not know how to treat their symptoms. According to Nita Ely, a professor, a writing coach, and a writer herself, she wrote in her book, Got Help, written in 20, 2001 and later reviewed in 2016, that 44% of undiagnosed depression sufferers do not know how to treat their symptoms. They rely on self-help techniques. These techniques may include prayer, rest, and exercise. However, these self-help techniques may not cut it. Due to the stigma on mental health disorders, many symptoms go untreated. Out of the 15 people in this room, six people may have a formal diagnosis and they do not know how to treat it. Some treatments may include talk therapy, medicine, and of course, an emotional support animal. Some medicines over a long period of time may actually worsen symptoms rather than make the symptoms better. Now that I have explained the mental health disorders concerning an emotional support animal, I will explain the positive effects that they bring to their owners. An ESA provides many benefits to their owners. They force their owners into a routine. This routine may include feeding their animals, snuggling with them, and taking them outside. An ESA also helps owners that suffer from anxiety or traumatic events. According to roles of emotional support animals from the American Psychology Association found on their website and published in 2018, in, during the mid-1990s in courthouses, courthouses began to include emotional support animals to have for victims who were testifying. This provided therapeutic benefits. Today, I have explained to you the role of a of a, an emotional support animal. I have explained the mental health disorders concerning them, and I have explained the benefits that they bring to their owners. An emotional support animal provides relief to those suffering from mental health disorders. At Temple University during the 2017-2018 school year, there were six requests for an ESA. During the 2019 school year, there were 20 requests. I can only imagine what next year will bring.